welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing like an active length set of nails because a lot of you ask if i can do some shorter nails and now i've got my alina hand i think it's alina might be aliana i don't know um i absolutely love her um i've popped some nails in and um i thought we could we could do some gel polish nails on her i before i start i have to say it like normally when i do gel polish nails i do them on tips just because it's easier now i'm actually doing them on on a on a like my flexi hand trainer i can pop the the fingers are all separate by the way, I still love my flexi hand. Just because I've got this hand doesn't mean I love my flexi hand any less. There's definitely, they're kind of, like the flexi hand is more for, I would recommend the flexi hand if you're new um, to doing nails. Um, I just think the flexi hand is easier to work on. And then you've got this hand that is super realistic. I definitely, Although, although that said, I mean, anyway, it doesn't matter. But this is like, for me, this is like a real hand. And it's completely different for me doing, and everyone else obviously, doing a, a, a set of nails on, you know, gel polish nails designs on tips than what it is doing it on, on a proper hand. So I, yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. That's all I'm saying. This, I mean, this was, this was, I actually, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is actually difficult. So yeah, um, hats off to the nail techs out there. Also, I don't think I made my life easy because I done, I'm, I'm right handed and I done the pinky first and do you see, right, I should have done this, this hand for this nail first, the index, and then worked towards the pinky. Instead, I went towards, I went, you know, I've done the pinky towards the index. And, um, I think in future, when I, when I use this hand, I will, especially when I'm doing gel polish nails, um, I will start from the index and work my way to the pinky. I popped a second coat on. I'm using Madame Glam. I got this black gel paint out, Madame Glam black gel paint. And at this point, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I stopped recording. And then I thought I was still recording. And I got this far. So all I've done is I've put a line. This is the Madame Glam black gel paint. They sell gel paints now. How flipping exciting. I'm so glad. They're also, they're also non-wipe. So you can put them you can apply them to a finished nail that you can do like a design on top of a finished nail because they've got no tacky layer um yeah it's perfect so anyway we've done two coats of perfect white pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds each now i'm using the black gel paint and my nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush to create some lines oh, it was tricky it was so tricky Okay, maybe I'm not making it look tricky, but at the time it really was. This one, I want to do two lines because I'm going to fill the middle with ink. So they don't have to be really thick lines, but they want, you want to be able to see them. I was just trying to neaten it up at the cuticle area. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. No, I'm not. I'm a faffin. And then back to this now. I'm going to do a thicker line here as well. Right, I'm going to show you in a minute. Right, because people are like, you do know it's completely different. You, you know, you can't, they say to me um, in comments sometimes, you can't flip, you can't turn a client's hand like you can nail tips, right? But look, right, you ready for this? Get them to turn their hand around and then pop their finger up. Almost like they're giving you the middle finger, but I mean, bear in mind this is a hand, so I have to move the hand, the fingers for for her because she's, you know, she can't move very well. But look, you just flip the hand. Don't tell me you can't do that on a real person. You can. So there we go. That is how you do it. By the way, check out the realism of this hand. Look at the veins on it. Oh, amazing. I'm gonna leave the link to Alina Hand, the website in the description box below. 
because I will be using this hand a lot now and I want you to be able to get one if you want one I'll also pop I have a referral code a referral link so like if you click on it you can get I think you get five euros off just you know just saying um i'm now going to seal these in with the velvet matte top coat from madam glam i do have a 30 percent off code for madam glam as well it's nat mug 30 make sure you cap the free edge that's something i'm not very good at doing because i i'm using i always use tips to do gel polish nails so it's something that i forget to do quite often like when i actually comes to doing a real hand i'm like don't forget to cut the free edge but I do. <laughs> I don't think, right, the gel paints cure for 60 seconds. Now, I when I came here, this the, the black started to smudge and I, I, I wasn't sure if I'd given it a full 60 seconds. So yeah, I might not have cured these enough because they've smudged. But I mean, if you want to be definite, you know, if you want to be doubly sure that they're cured, give them two minutes in the lamp. Um, I wasn't too worried because the, the bit that it's smudged on, part of the nail that it's smudged on, I'm going to be using the inks. So I've got purple ink. These are Madame Glam's inks. I've got light blue ink and I have got pink ink. Pink ink. That's funny to say that. Say pink ink. Right. So I'm just going to place these randomly at the bottom edge of this nail and then what I do is I like to manipulate my ink with acetone so I've got like a little it's actually like a 3d brush but I use it now for specifically for this purpose so I just have like a little bit of acetone in the brush and then I will just kind of fiddle around a bit until it looks like a you know kind of marble I don't want to take too much of the ink off I just want it to look a bit marbled so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that I think that's fine I don't think it needs anything else and then I'm gonna carefully put the ink between these two lines you know obviously when you put your lines on you want to make them thick enough for the brush to go in without flooding past the the black lines so you have to bear that in mind and then I'm going to faff a little bit. I f do I faff with the acetone? I think I do. I love inks that you can... Yeah, I do. Look, I'm faffing a bit with the acetone. I didn't faff too much with this, though. I, I'm going to leave it like that. So it kind of looks like a marble. Now, we're going to have to seal the ink in. So we're going to go over again with the velvet matte top coat. Only on the nails that we've put the ink on, obviously, because the other two nails don't need it. If you would like to see more like active length nails like this, um, let me know in the comments below because then I can, you know, it's nice to do shorter length nails as well. And I think this hand really complements the shorter length nails. Oh, this is the gold gel paint from Madame Glam. This is so nice. So remember I said it cures with no tacky layer. So we can, I'm going to apply this to the finished nails. Um, I'm going to do some like leafy leaves. I love me the leafy leaves, especially, I don't know. I just love, yeah, I love the leafy leaves, especially over a design. I think it kind of, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I am going to do one on this nail. They're so easy to do as well. Um, I found that with this gold, right, this gold gel paint kind of has, I don't know if they're like flake, not, they're not really flakes, but it's not really, I don't know if it's like a glittery flake in it, but it, I, I felt with this one, I couldn't get a super detailed line because it had the, I don't know, the, the ink, the, the glitter or the flakes in it, but it, it still turned out looking like a leaf, you know? So, I mean, you could tell it was a leafy leaf. A bit of foliage, which was fine. 
I mean, all the other all the other colours they do, other than the silver, I think the silver is similar to the gold, but the others are, are all just solid colours, so you can get nice, yeah, nice detailed lines with those. I mean, look, this is still detailed. It's not. I'm just I'm just nitpicking now, so I shall shut up. <laughs> I do absolutely love this colour though. It is bloody gorgeous. Um, I was like, shall I put something on the pinky? And I didn't in the end. Now I was gonna put like little dots on here, but I made them all they they didn't line up. <laughs> so in the end I ended up just making them a line, and actually I'm glad I did because I preferred it this way. I'm just putting a line down the, down the side of the black line. I actually really like that in the end. In the end, it came good. Right, so I'm going to pop these in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then in my hand, I have got some Preciosa Starlight Crystals. They're round flat back crystals. They are from the Crystal Parade. I do have a code NAT5 if you'd like to get 5% off when you order. So I'm just putting a little bit of the Crystal Totalus Gem Glue on the pinky and then I am going to put just three crystals on. So the yeah, the big one's going to go at the back towards the cuticle and then they're going to taper down in size. I'm only going to put three on because, you know, it's a small nail. We don't want to go too mad. There we go. And I thought that was just nice to finish off the set. Ta-da! And then obviously you'd, you'd cuticle oil, but anyway. Um, I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. Um, I'll show you a quick close-up here. <laughs> if you haven't, do consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can change your mind later on if you wish, but I hope, hopefully you won't. Thanks for watching. I think I said that. I think I'm repeating myself now. Anyway, I'll see you beautiful on Thursday. I'm not going to upload tomorrow because I'm taking my nan to get her hair cut. <laughs> okay, love you all. See you on Thursday. Bye.